So then guys, I've owned the brand new baseline Mac Mini M4 for the last week. And I'm gonna tell you right now off the bat, I've absolutely loved my experience with this. I'm gonna actually argue this is probably my favorite Apple product of 2024. And today I wanna to tell you how great this device is and why you should probably get one yourself. If we rewind back to last week, you will know I did an unboxing of this Mac Mini and I was shocked straight away at the size of this device. When I compared it to the last generation Mac Mini in its size, you could see how small it was and how close it is also in size to say the Apple TV will exist right now. How Apple have managed to cram an M4 and M4 Pro into a device this small is absolutely unbelievable. And then when I connected it up to a monitor, keyboard and mouse, I was absolutely blown away by its performance too. Just take a look at some of these benchmark scores that we did of the M4 Mac Mini. We could see here in Geekbench 6 single and multi-core CPU speed tests that we did that obviously the M4 with its 10 cores inside of it, its single core performance is probably one of the best out there, 3864, and then on top of it, its multi-core performance was 15,288. And just even comparing here the M4 to the M3 Pro from the last generation, the 11 and the 12 core version, you can even see it beats this out. It was absolutely phenomenal. Not only this, I'm also super happy that Apple finally put 16 gigabytes of RAM as their baseline amount in all their Macs going forwards. And they even did the same for the Mac for Air M3. But to have this device to have 16 gigabytes of RAM inside of it, it's just great in 2024, especially it costs us around about 599 US dollars for this device, what is absolutely crazy. And also if you're an education user, you can actually buy it for $100 less, what's even more crazier when you actually think about it. As the week continued on, I decided to do some mods for my Mac Mini, just like you can see right here. I actually printed off this Mac Mini Pro design, as you can see right here. And this was really, really awesome that you could actually make your Mac Mini into say the, a mini sort of design of the Mac Pro, what was really cool to see. And if you do want to check out more information about that video, it's just above me right now. But moving on though, with the Mac Mini, I did discover very quickly that this was a real powerhouse. Even in that Mac Mini Pro video, and as you can see right here, you could see that the Geekbench scores, what we got to the old Exions, what came in the Intel Mac Pro in 2019, this absolutely blew this away. Obviously the Mac Pro has more RAM in it, you can pick better storage, you can upgrade parts and things like this. But the Mac Mini though, for what it is, and especially again, I'll say the price, at 599 US dollars. It's absolutely crazy for what you're getting inside of this. And I absolutely love it. And later on in the week, I even test out gaming on this Mac Mini. So for example, I tested out Crossover with Cyberpunk 2077, and we got some really great results with this. It was definitely playable on this Mac Mini. Now, obviously there is gonna be Cyberpunk 2077 coming natively to the Mac Mini in 2025, and I think that'll work even better than what I just showed you there. And that was really great to see. And I even tested out some other games like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, and that worked absolutely Absolutely fine. And then also I tried the Xbox sort of cloud app and I managed to play things like the brand new Call of Duty on it. And that just worked absolutely flawlessly too. And something else that I've been talking about during the week on my channel is the new giveaway we're also doing for this. This here is the iPhone 16 Pro Max and I'm gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel near the end of December time. In fact, it's just gonna be just before Christmas time. So before December sort of 24th is when I'm actually gonna be giving this away to one lucky subscriber on this channel. And all you have to do at this stage to enter into this giveaway is just put down into the comments below of what technology gear that you're hoping to get before the end of 2024, or maybe into early 2025. Maybe it is the new Mac Mini that you could potentially be getting. Maybe it's gonna be the M4 Pro version. Maybe it's gonna be a new MacBook Pro instead, or maybe it's not gonna be anything Apple related, maybe a PS5 Pro. Maybe it's gonna be, say, a DJI sort of uh, drone or something like this, let me know in the comments below right now. And also guys, like I said, I will be making a video just before this sort of 
Christmas time, giving you more details about the giveaway. And there will be a little form to fill in too. I'll give all that information around in that video. So you won't want to miss out on that because I'll also be announcing when I'm gonna do the live stream to give away this iPhone 16 Pro Max. So the best thing you can do right now if you haven't done so already is make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. And then also you need to be a subscriber too because this is who that I'm giving this away to. The last thing I just want to quickly mention is that sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me too, telling you to WhatsApp, Telegram, you know, and all these sort of things like Instagram, direct message. Please do ignore these people. Better still, as you can see right here, please do report them. But moving on then with the Mac Mini, how about doing day-to-day -day tasks on this? Well, it's been absolutely great to run the latest version of Mac OS 15 on this and also use some of the Apple intelligence tools that are available. And I've not experienced any hiccups whatsoever. And then just in case you're wanting to know what about thermals and heat and things like this, well, with everything that I've done this week, really the fans haven't really kicked in. Possibly when I did actually do those kind of gaming tests earlier this week, that was probably it, the fans kicked in a little bit, but never have I put my hand on top of this and felt, oh, that is really warm, that is really hot. And never have I really, for day-to-day -day kind of tasks, have I felt that this has been a machine that has been throttling for myself. So yeah, that has been really, really awesome. Awesome. The great thing I loved about this Mac Mini 2 was also the range of ports that we have on this. So on the rear, we have the three Thunderbolt 4 ports on the back. We have HDMI, we have a gigabit ethernet, and also we have the power. And then on the front, we have USB three ports in the size of USB-Cs and also a headphone jack too. And for the average kind of Joe out there, the average kind of user, this is gonna be more than enough for ports wise. And obviously you can always get sort of USB-C to USB-A ports if you wanted to do that. So that is really, really handy too. But the other thing what got me thinking about this Mac Mini is also its power potential and what you're getting for the price. Right now, if you shopped around and tried to buy yourself a desktop and literally just a desktop on its own, for the same sort of price as this Mac Mini, you are not gonna get the same kind of performance, at least not in CPU power. And to me, this really makes Apple's position of having this device a really great standpoint to having a desktop at your home. It's tiny, it's small. And if you want to do kind of documents, surf the web and things like this, or kind of day-to-day -day tasks, book your vacations and whatnot, this device is perfect, especially for the size of what it is. It can just sit on your desk, it is tiny, and yet it will give you so much power with inside of this box, and it's at an affordable price in 2024. And the great news is, is that obviously we'll probably be getting support for this for the next sort of six to seven years. What well, is crazy to think that if you bought that today, that you're basically gonna be spending less than $100 per year for this device. And yeah, that is, I think it's unbelievable value in what you're getting with this. Now, obviously the Mac mini does have a few little negatives on it. And probably the biggest one that a lot of other reviewers have also said is got to be the power button on the bottom. But obviously there are little fixes out there. Like I even created the 3D fix. And obviously that was in that video that I advertised earlier. And if you want to get that, then make sure you get that because it's Definitely a good fix to actually have out there. But because the Mac Mini is also so light, and as long as you don't put things on top of it, you could easily just pick it up and just turn on the button on the back, because yeah, it's quite cool for that. But overall, my week with this has been brilliant. And the more and more scenarios I can think of where I could just check this into my bag, take it around with me, you know, it's just blown my mind in what I can do with this device and how powerful it is for what it is really. But in summary guys, I recommend that if you think of getting yourself just a desktop for home, or for example, your first ever Apple device, this is definitely one of the best that you can get out there. I would actually even recommend getting this over say a MacBook Air, especially if you're not like saying a student going out taking notes and things like this, or maybe that you are and you have an iPad like a 10th generation and you want a device at home you know, to do your studies on, then obviously this device is probably perfect for you for even that needs there. But really guys, what I'd love to know is what you think of the new Mac mini. Are you gonna be getting one or have you got one? And have you experienced it over the last week? And what do you think of it? Let me know in the comments below. And with that as well, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. Also, if you wanna hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons too, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye-bye.